who are we breaking down today? Georgia Ellenwood. Yes, today we're going to be talking about Georgia Ellenwood. Achilles' injury is never good to have. It could potentially end an athlete's career if not treated properly. Let's take a look on how Basic 3 HFT would have helped. I'm going to use a case study from Instagram with a track athlete, Georgia Ellenwood, a Canadian athlete. She posted a non-contact Achilles injury while running and accelerating towards the high jump. First thing that I look for is her gait bomb mechanics. Is there any bad joint angles when she ran? Too much pronation, supination, or dorsiflexion would cause potential issues. I did not see any of them. But looking at her injury history, she suffered a right Achilles injuries before, roughly a year ago. So from a fascia perspective, we know there would be fascial adhesions. And this is why as part of the basic free HFD protocol, we follow and use the hyperarch fascia rolling chart. When you roll on the calves, what are the body response on a scale 1 to 10? Is it a high 8 or is it a 1 or 2? That makes a huge difference. If it's too high, we know the fascia is still disorganized. Secondly, we will be doing the HFT elevated toe curls. Do we get the same type of response from the left foot compared to the injured side? If not, the body is not yet ready. The calf size is another telltale sign that the myofascial structure hasn't been recovered. I saw another photo from two months ago before this actual injury that there was still a big discrepancy in muscle size. This is not ready because from a fascial research perspective, fascia wrapping angle would also cause a tug of war between the tissue if the fascia is still disorganized, therefore increasing the risk of injury. We need to check all the variables and try to reduce the risks of these variables as much as we can. And here is a past case study I've done with another athlete. This is the fifth week of our HFT protocol. We were able to bring the calf back to life. I hope you like this case study. Follow for more training tips on how HFT and fascia can help you.